I always feel self-conscious about filming inside the stores. I, uh, I did not get around to that. My face was basically like, in my phone looking up. That sounded like moon language to you. Um, I bought a, it's an app, it's on my phone. Um, I could put a referral link in the description box if you want to try it out. It's, uh, um, it's got little rebate offers, um, as little as 10 cents, uh, depending on what it is. Um, I've seen rebates as much as, um, at least for single items, as much as like $5. But usually something like that, you, can, you have to buy multiples or, um, but it's always like big ticket items that you'll have. But, um, average rebate, I'd say, is like 75 cents to a dollar, so it adds up really fast, and, uh, long story short, it's kind of a mischievous way that I use to, um, get food stamps to pay for cat food, because you can withdraw your, uh, you can withdraw your rebate cash, um, once you surpass $20 and you can withdraw how much of it has surpassed $20 as well. So say it's like, uh, $25 and 35 cents. You can withdraw all of that or withdraw only $20 and leave the $5 and 35 cents or whatever. And the hell is stuck in my teeth. I just had one of those little, um, Hillshire small plate things. It's fancy pants Lunchables, which, fan, which Lunchables itself is cheap ass canapes. Like seriously, you, you put the same kinds of things on a uh, on a serving charger <laughs> at a fancy reception or cocktail party. It's called a canapé when it's you know just like cheap ass ingredients with a little plastic thing and stuck in. garbage food, right? <laughs> but, yeah, so they did not have the almond milk that I like at Target, much less the one that I, um, much less any of the ones that qualify for a rebate. So I'm going to go walk over to the Carpenter Road Kroger right now, and just so I do not get hit by a bus, I'm going to uh, pick up filming once I get into Kroger. I don't know. I do weird shit Kroger all the time. Nobody will think anything of it there. At Target, that's another story, and I don't know why. Yes! That's why I got a hat. So, what was I going to say? Oh, right. Speaking of going to Kroger, I forget. And plus, like, how I do weird shit at Kroger all the time. And part of it is because I used to work at a Kroger, not this particular one. Not even the one that the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad X works at. But one that does not exist anymore because uh, lots of shit. But I would say first and foremost is Gary is a shit manager who should not be allowed to work with people ever again in his life. But that's probably just a little too much to ask the universe for. Whose video I was watching, but she was talking about having just been shopping at Kroger and uh, figured she would describe Kroger to any of her subscribers who might be unfamiliar. And she said, I think it's kind of like a fancier this and I'm thinking to myself, what Kroger's have you been going to? Then again, uh, the company is based in Cincinnati, Ohio. At least that's where their corporate headquarters is. And there's a reason for that. It is because it originally started there and as proof that I used to work there, the first ever Kroger branded, you know, store branded item was the uh, was the founders mothers or grandmothers 
recipe for sauerkraut. So he would uh, make her sauerkraut recipe and can it and they carry it at the store. So either I did indeed work for Kroger for a significant portion of two years of my life off and on. Or I know somebody who did and I'm BSing you, but why would anybody BS about working at Kroger? Because, uh, like literally every Kroger I've worked at has, uh, has been so far from the description of think of a fancy Walmart and just think of myself. So, uh, so yeah, I grew up until the age of 12 in Toledo, Ohio. So, right there in Kroger country. Where it is kind of a local company, at least a, uh, a company founded and still with corporate operations happening in the state. So it's like a home state company in Ohio. And then of course, moved to rural Michigan when my father remarried uh, shortly after my 12th birthday. And you know, still we're here because I believe Michigan was the first state to convert to the Superstore model, um, which was actually started, uh, actually, I don't know if this was the first one, but the first, you know, Superstore kind of deal that I am aware of is Meyer, which was, speaking of local businesses of sorts, uh, Meyer, M-E-I-J-E-R, it was founded in Grand Rapids, and still to this day, most of the stores are contained to Michigan. There's a few in Ohio, uh, one or two in Indiana, I believe. And I think there might be one in Wisconsin, uh, not too far from the Michigan Upper Peninsula. So I know Walmart has become very famous for it. Before, it used to be a lot closer to a Kmart, of course. Now, there are big K's, Kmart's, which are the Superstore model. But I'm talking about old school, 1980s, 90s Kmart, that it was like just like your little discount department store. You know, like your little department store, like, uh, I don't know, Lion. Is Lion still around? I think Lion might have been Ohio only. But think like Sears. Kmart, but for people who are living on a budget, and that was Walmart, like, and then they figured out, hey, their little chain in Michigan, hold on a sec, there's that local chain in Michigan that is both a, uh, a cheap ass little Sears kind of thing plus a grocery store and they're actually doing very well for themselves even though they're 90 maybe 80 percent contained to the bifurcated state of Michigan but that's doing very well for ourselves so as we are the evil Walden family that owns Walmart how can we make more money I know. Let's make sure that we are our customers' sole source of buying jeans and back to school supplies and cheap ass canvas sneakers that barely look like the name branded Ted's, but will also be their 
only source for groceries. <laughs> and that is probably exactly what happened when uh, Walmart decided to wait start adopting the superstore model. And uh, honest to the gods, the earliest superstore that I know of started in Michigan. And I want to say they started in the 50s, maybe early 60s. I might be a little bit off on that. I try to avoid shopping at Meyer whenever possible. Not just because about 10 years ago, okay, so there used to be this website called buyblue.com where uh, basically they collated all of the um, tax donation stuff from, uh, from various corporations and would sort out who's donated to Republican funds, who's donated to Democratic funds, who's donated to other political party funds, which was a very, very tiny amount. And, um, oh my god, shut up, robot. So, um, oh wait, no, 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 I'm thinking something else. So, I mean, okay, of course, no surprise to anybody who's from Michigan, uh, Meyer did donate. Um, significantly to the Republican Party, and that's because the uh, the Meyer family that owns the chain are very, very crazy right-wing Christians who have a, you know, they're like maybe half a step worse than Tom Monaghan, who, contrary to common belief, Monaghan no longer has anything to do with the Domino's chain. He, like, sold out his uh, portion of the company uh, at least 20 years ago, I want to say. So, uh, it is okay to shop at Domino's even though one of the brothers who uh, started the chain is a far-right Catholic who gives to, like, uh, what's the name of that thing? Project Life? I don't know. It's some anti-abortion group that has some sketchy connections and may possibly be involved in some uh, fire bombings of Planned Parenthood clinics and smaller independent clinics that um, perform pregnancy abortions. So, um, so yeah, but uh, but yeah, uh, I want to say this was the 2008 election. I looked up info from the uh, HRC, Human Rights Campaign, uh, the LGBT HRC, and they had a lot of major corporations, which included Meyer, uh, <laughs> listed on like. Uh, and rated on how good they performed as far as rights for LGBT employees. Meyer ranked lower than Walmart around the time of the 2008 election, <laughs> which just... I'm like, really? Somebody is worse than Walmart about this. So, but that's not the only reason I try to avoid Meyer, if at all possible. There's also the fact that now, if there's something that I can only find at Meyer, or if I've given up looking at the other places, you know, I will try my luck at Meyer uh, if I think the price on Amazon is a bit more than I want to do. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna pause here at this crosswalk. So, uh, and what happens? So, Meyer has this way of sucking the shopper into a time vortex. And I am barely exaggerating because I'm not the only person this happens to. Like, uh, my friend slash ex-boyfriend Scott uh, has had this happen to him. My friend Charles has had this happen to him. And, you know, it's not like it's something he absorbed from me because he and I 
only just met and started chilling and shit about three, four years ago. It was shortly after I left uh, WCPN. But, uh, but then what happens? So, Meyer has this way of sucking you into this time vortex. It's like this time hole that even if you literally only go in for one, two things tops, you get only that one or two things. By the time you leave the store, I swear at least an hour has passed, even if you think you've only just made a beeline toward those two items. Somehow, somehow, it's worse than uh, University of Michigan property with the whole like, claiming that my phone is roaming deal. And I still don't know why that happens, but it does. And I'm not the only person it happens to, but most of the ones it happens to seem to be with Sprint. But I don't know that story. So, yeah, I, I don't understand this. I'm literally not the only person this happens to. There's something up with Meyer. And, see, this is how the Superstore model gets it and why it is so evil. Because you think you're only in there for 15 minutes tops, getting these one or two things, and you know right where they're at. Or maybe you did know where they were at, but then you stepped into the store. Thank you, basket. And then you step into the store, and you notice that this is one of the two times a year, maybe three, I don't know. I think it depends on the store. But this is one of the minimum two times a year that they rearrange everything in the store. And yeah, it is, it is an evil, evil plot to keep you in the store where you will hopefully spend all of your money. all that. You only go in for those one or two items. You will be sucked into a time sink. There will be no more time for you to do anything because oh shit. Okay, I gotta I gotta pay attention to this thing so I can go shopping. Ah, uh, uh, that's why I say good morning 24 hours a day, and people always give me strange looks for it. And I'm like, you know, I do this 24 hours a day. <sighs> but uh, but yeah, I just got back home, and I'm gonna paste all the little video clips and whatnot together. And but first, uh, I've got a couple little um, where'd my letter opener go? Oh well, ah, scissors, scissors will work. Okay. And not my good fabric scissors. So this is <laughs> so this is from uh, Sweden. Yeah, and, um, and actually, I uh, I bought some patches from uh, the seller C E L L A R patches, I believe. I'm gonna link um, their Etsy shop in the description box. So. These are some ones that I got from them, and I'm not sure if they are... Uh, I'm not sure what which ones they prefer, but uh, we've got some rudimentary peni, and that... Oh, God, they've also... They also do some round ones, too, so... Um, March violets, and their little uh, sunburst pentagram one. <sighs> Cabaret Voltaire. Uh, malaria. Rubella Ballet and Fad Gadget. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put these over here. 
with the rest of them. And I've got uh, I've got a couple spots on my purple jacket and a few ones on my chartreuse jacket that are not claimed by other patches just yet. So this is I don't know which one. One came yesterday. One came today. So I'm not sure which one came from which person, but I was also told by people who comment on my videos. Uh, one of them is Cherryberry48. The other one is, I believe, Curious Cat 1920 But there should be a little uh, gift receipt inside of these to tell me who did what. I know one is definitely Cherryberry because she is... Very, very kind, and of course, kitties. Kitties eat cat food, don't they? So, kitties might also like a box, or at least Murnau will. Michael's not the hugest fan of boxes. He he missed out how, on how to cat. I don't know where or how he did this, but he's not the biggest fan of boxes. And there's uh, there's an old uh, picture on my uh, Instagram of him. <laughs> so there's this big sunbeam coming in from the door to the balcony, and he is sitting right behind the door. So well outside of the sunbeam, on the opposite side of the door. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got solid gold shreds in gravy, wet cat food, five oceans with real tuna, formerly new moon. Uh, and then we've got, oh, we've got kitten food. Okay, this one says from Kimber Ann. Is that... is that Cherry Berry? We've got two that says Kimber Ann. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, I think that is Cherry Berry. Um, I don't know the other person, but I know, um, I know, um, Cherry Berry has gifted me monies in the past, and, uh, that does sound like their first name. Either Kimberly or Kimber Ann. And now I just watched, there's two, you're both named some variety of Kim. So, five oceans with tuna. Uh, Nigel is very picky about what fish he'll eat. He's gotten a little better about fish as he's gotten a little older. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, this is kitten recipe with chicken in gravy. So, okay. Uh, yeah, holistic food for kittens. Neither one of them, uh, none of my cats right now are kittens. Uh, Murnau kind of looks like it sometimes, but no, he's two years old. And uh, Phoebe, people sometimes mistake Phoebe for being a kitten just from pictures. And it's like, no, no, she just still has kitten face after all these years. She and I and Nigel are about the same age. Um, uh, the re one of the reasons you don't necessarily want to uh, putting it over the uh, the light. No, okay. Uh, one of the reasons you don't necessarily want to give uh, kitten food to adult cats is because kitten food has extra fat in it. Of course, once they hit senior, a lot of cats have a hard time uh, keeping on weight just because of little ailments that, you know, can come and go with, you know, as they age. Uh, so it's not a terrible idea to feed, you know, to let them have kitten food when they're, when they're, um, let's say eight years old or more. Um, it's just, uh, this is, you know, it can't be something that you give them all the time, so that might be my mistake that, uh, that it was on the, um, on their, on the cat's wish list. So, uh, oh, what's this? This looks like more cat food. And these things. Ah. I don't know why this is satisfying. And this is from... Enjoy your gift from... Okay, so this also... Uh, Cherryberry48. This also says, Enjoy your gift from Kimber Ann. Yes, I am... Ba -ba -ba. And uh, she included a phone number, so I've got... Okay. Oh, wait, I think the other person, I think their, um, I think their, um, gift, ostensibly for kitties, uh, is coming on Monday. And we have, 
Ah, solid gold, grade free sardines and tuna in gravy, canned cat food, three ounces each. So, we have so much, so much tinned cat food, and thank you so much, Kimberan. Thank you so much, and the kitties definitely thank you very, very much. They are going to be, especially with the kitten food that I, <laughs> that I absentmindedly added to their wish list. So, uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get nice and fat. Pee pee podgy, pee pee podgy. But again, again, thank you so much. It was these were all you know all this cat food is so nice. It's so nice of you. Um, Oh, and I am I am actually kind of glad that I don't have to go back to Petco for more cat food this month, because, ah, uh, but again, thanks so much, and uh, thanks to anybody who watched through all of my little ranting while I'm walking between grocery stores and talking about um, some Kroger company history from somebody who used to work there, and, ah... Uh, uh, I'm kind of brain farting on what all I was talking about on there, but... But yeah, I'm gonna have myself some sliced apples from the food pantry, because they're still good, damn it. <laughs> and finish off my watermelon strawberry sparkling ice thing, because I like, I like my soda waters. Ah, oh, yes. And um, Murnau is probably gonna play with the box some more. And... Uh, but I definitely need to break those down and take those to the recycling tomorrow. And bats and kisses all, and take care of yourselves, and goodbye, and thanks for all the cat food.